Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for, yes, you guessed it, G-Dragon and Future Spouse. Alright, so let's see what we have in the love messages to start this off for what we have for his Future Spouse and G-Dragon. Let's see what do we have for G-Dragon, please. Okay, we have flirt. Hello. All right. <laughs> it says express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture nice. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Finances and career. This could be a factor in his love life here. Reconciliation with somebody from the past. Ooh, la la. Healing family issues. Releasing your ex. Now, this could be somebody um, before he comes into reconciliation with somebody from the past. So, I feel that should go there. Uh, let's see, what do we have? You deserve love. Nice. Beautiful messages. Now this kind of tells me that it's going to be somebody that he already knows has maybe um, had a love with before or it's just possible they were friends and he knows this person from the past. What do we got? Oh, he might fight for this past love. So let's see what is going on here. Ah, Wounded Warrior. So there might have been something here. Um, now this could be his person um, that was experiencing this, or it could be from this ex, Wounded Warrior, but he's willing to give that cup to his future spouse. So let's see who's coming in for G-Dragon for his future spouse. Oh, he might have to go home to find her. Let's see, it might be somebody from his childhood. This is my home card, so to me, this is telling me that he's going home to wherever his family had lived when he was a child. Yeah, this has to do with his future. Mm, yeah, he's hanging on to somebody here. That is just one card, yep. Let's see might be a proposal or some kind of um, offer here coming in. <clears throat> okay. Could be this that he's uh, hanging on to this person. Maybe he left this person out in the cold or this person left him out in the cold prior to. Maybe they dated when they were younger. Maybe they worked together when they were younger. Maybe there was no interest there when they were younger in that way or when he became famous. Um, maybe they felt left out in the cold. Let's see, there's some crossroads here. Oh, some justice here. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I feel somebody's going to feel a little bit of sadness and sorrow. Maybe there was some karma here for something that happened. Could have been too um, with the justice card. Maybe something wasn't fair. Maybe there wasn't truth or someone not being accountable for some actions here. Let's see, yes, boundaries. <laughs> Standing up for themselves. So whoever is this energy here, let's see, might be, yeah, something might have ended here with the King of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, somebody walked away. Ooh, look at, look at could be his empress. So, wow. So this could be the one that uh, maybe 
she has boundaries when it comes to him. Could be he has boundaries when it comes to her. So let's see here. What do we got? Let's clarify here. What is the Eight of Wands spirit? Ah, waiting for ships to come in. So <clears throat> he might be waiting to, or having to wait to get there, or has been waiting a long time to go home, wanting to go home. What is the Three of Wands and the Eight of Wands? This one wanted to come. Ah, oh, look it, look it, it is the Emperor. And he's going to find his Empress here. So, and we did see her here. So, they are both divine beings. So, and with divine beings, that does not eliminate you from having to go through lessons, okay? So, there's always growth no matter what. Just because you're divine um, and you're the emperor and empress, that does not mean that that keeps you from being or having karma if you aren't good to someone. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here. This could be family or this could be friends. This could be his um, future spouse here that is living at home, maybe in his hometown. This one wanted to come. Wow, Queen of Wands. So this could be somebody, uh, well, yeah, I kind of feel like this might be family here. Maybe a sister or um, cousins, uh, friends from home, a couple girls maybe. Yeah, there might have been some secrets around something regarding this. What is this two of wands? Yeah, some defeat, some type of defeat here. Maybe even talking shit or you know how it is. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's going to, I kind of feel like, be strong when it comes to some kind of situation here where they are able to be in that uh, feeling of, uh, it's not coming out the way I want to say it. <laughs> um, you know, having that calmness and under a situation that might be um, out of hand, being composed, you know, that feeling of composure and um, being able to stay controlled in that, that chaotic type of atmosphere, staying calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, somebody is watching, okay watching his future unfold i feel what is this four of pentacles oh hanging on to a love here so it is hanging on to somebody that he may have walked away from in the past hanging on still even even though they feel <laughs> left out in the cold was yeah there was some betrayal here what is this betrayal here Ah, yeah, it had to do with love. So what is the working card here? Uh, having a victory in work. Um, maybe having to leave this, uh, walk away from this love. Uh, maybe they feel very betrayed, this uh, future spouse, because he had to walk away from when he uh, got his his lucky break in his job, what he does for a living. When he got discovered, let's see. Page of Pentacles, yeah, when he had to do with his work and his pentacles, maybe they really feel like there was no uh, hope there, that nothing was ever gonna come about. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, yeah, his success. He went after his success. This woman must have felt left out in the cold because he didn't take her with him and he went off and did his own thing. Yeah, feeling that betrayal, I feel. Um, I kind of feel like it's 
that feeling of fear, maybe feeling desires that just weren't fulfilled because he walked away. Feeling that crossroads. What's this two of swords? Yeah, feeling unapproachable now because not so sure about him now. <laughs> Only because of how that went down. Yeah, she's very intuitive, has a lot of intuition, very intuitive. What's this justice card here? He may have experienced karma before and he learned a lot of lessons now that he's coming back as the emperor. Let's see. Yeah, he had a lot of options. There might be some confusion when it comes to this. Yeah. This person wanted long term. Probably thought she was going to marry him. But he left. He left home to go off and do his own thing. Let's see here. Yeah, really feeling betrayed by that. Being, oh, I thought that was the Ten of Swords. It's the Eight of Swords. So being in her head. So maybe not trusting so much when it comes to him. Um, yeah, I kind of feel very, feeling trapped. Maybe couldn't leave home or had obligations. Oh, there's some work here. Feeling sad about that she maybe went off to work. Left her behind. Yeah, feeling like, yeah, feeling wounded that he left her behind. And maybe was with other people and uh, she probably saw that um, throughout his career. Probably heard a lot. And yeah, she walked away from him, or he walked away from her. So let's just see here. I want to kind of find out a little bit more about this end piece here. Yeah, there was a lot of healing that happened. Now, this is after he comes home. Is she going to let him in, or is she going to walk away from him? Now she's been waiting for him. She's been waiting for her ships to come in, waiting for him to come back. She could have manifested or planted some seeds to say, look, this is who I want, um, whatever. And uh, he may, she may have uh, found out that he was coming home. But in any case, there was some growth here. Sorry guys, my phone going off. Let's see, yeah, this had to do with the long-term love. Waiting for that long-term love. Maybe hoping that he would come home. It may have not gotten very far, because uh, this tree isn't very big, so I kind of feel like if it was a high school sweetheart or somebody that he knew from his past when he was younger before he got his big break that they weren't able to grow their tree very big because he had to leave when he went to get his big break so yeah i kind of feel like it was something that didn't get off the ground very quickly i kind of feel like it was something that didn't um have a lot of growth behind it because of him going off. Yeah, and he's coming back for this love. I don't think he ever forgot it. I just think he had to wait until he felt good about coming back. Yeah, he's he's at the Nine of Pentacles, so he's really looking, or he sees her as his Nine of Pentacles. And since he's got the Ten of Pentacles here, I kind of feel like she's right up there with him. Now she could have her own money and she might be willing to give him a few pentacles to share her life with him. Just as much as he's willing to share with her. Yeah, this is somebody from the past. Now the past card keeps coming out. 
uh, with reconciliation with the past. We saw the past card in the main spread, and now we're seeing it again here. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, and he's showing up as the emperor once again, wanting to celebrate with her and give some type of truth. It's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, she's very intuitive, so she's going to know. So she's going to know whether he is um, telling the truth or not. Let's get some more here. Yeah, she, she may not... She may play hard to get here. She might just walk away. Yeah, she knows what she's worth. She's showing up as the emperor. But I kind of feel like with the emperor and empress, it's going to be a reconciliation. They're just going to have to work something out here. She may have just said, no, you took too long. <laughs> you know, and uh, maybe that's why she's putting some boundaries up. And with this walking away card, I thought, you know, maybe she's not going to have him or come have him come back into her life where she releases him. But I still feel like even if she does walk away from him, maybe it involved a third party with these two women here. Um, it's possible with the secrets card that she knows about the third party and she knows what her worth is and she's not going to take them back right away. She's going to put her boundaries in place and say, no, I'm, I'm not doing this. And there's hurt there. There's the five of cups, but the hierophant is here too. So this is also the marriage card. So I kind of feel like even though they have a little bit of work to do here to maybe uh, fix this reconciliation so this works, um, yeah, I kind of feel like it's going to come about. It just might take a little while. <laughs> Go for a walk today and you picked you, which I feel is the self-love. She knows what she's worth. She's telling him, look, you know, I know what I'm worth. I'm not putting up with third parties. I don't know if I want to be in part of your life because you have so many options or something along those lines when it comes to his fame. She might like just to live the life she's been living where it's quiet. <laughs> No paparazzi, <laughs> no media, no people coming after uh, to get the pictures and everything else because he is so famous. Do what you love, time to play. And I do feel like that's what they do eventually. Um, there is an opportunity for her to change her mind here, I feel. Please, ancestors, please help me see my psychic abilities more clearly. Always grateful. So I kind of feel like there might even be some gifts happening here, especially with the High Priestess card coming out. Maybe she is clairvoyant or has some type of clair. Have faith. And I feel like that is something that is um, definitely shared between the two of them. And it says, spring into action, a new cycle with exciting surprise and fortune. And I kind of feel like even though they're having a disagreement in this part here, the marriage card is on here and reconciliation is right above it. Partner will help you. And I kind of feel like he is going to help her or she is going to help him. And everybody knows that. Uh, we all live about 85 to 90 years old. Where are you on your tape measure? So if you if you take out a tape measure and see where you fit on that tape measure and you're only going to live till you're about 85 to 90, how many years do you have left to make the best life for yourself? Okay, And it's all about how much time you have left. And it could be that he is thinking that as well in this span here where he's looking at how old he is now, what I want in the future, who I want in my life, and how many years do I have left, and I want to spend the time that I have left with the person that I love. And let's see, 
be confident in your vision, courageous, outgoing, fire away. So I kind of feel like it's a fire energy. So maybe G-Dragon or his spouse has fire in their chart. Let's see. That fiery kind of feeling. Being in your heart space, love unconditionally, that is what will come in for you. And I knew that. I could tell. I could feel it. Even though they're having a bit of a argument about what happened in the past, they're kind of going over what happened. And I kind of feel like um, they're healing their issues. Maybe there's some family that has issues here because of what happened. Um, but whatever happens they are going to work that out and reconciliation is here maybe he has more integrity when it comes to this he's grown up a bit and he's not a teenager any longer or whenever he knew this person from the past let's see let's do this one journey of life be your best self and i kind of feel like uh, he's learned a lot about being in this journey that he's gone through and I feel like he's uh, Feeling that feeling his best life is coming and he wants to be with who he has that makes a lot of love and joy for him and Where they're gonna grow together with this spread the love and joy growth is on all levels here so I kind of feel like they are going to heal what they need to heal and with this marriage card I won't be surprised if he does marry somebody from his past so there's compassion he feels her pain there's nurturing and I kind of feel like there's some type of um, forgiveness and uh, learning from and just the way that it's communicated I kind of feel like it's going to be all good and and um, forgiven whatever this was from the past it could have been some type of misunderstanding as well and there could have been somebody that played a role here to break them up to begin with could have been a rumor but this person feels there were secrets about a third person so in any case, um, I'm going to leave it there. I actually, you know what? I'm going to roll and see when are they, when is he going home? Maybe nine weeks, nine months, maybe nine days. When will they get married? Six, maybe six years maybe six months after that it might be a little bit of time to uh, get through this where they get back to that love and to play and to really fall back in love again and yeah I kind of feel like she might be worried that he's going to leave um, because of his career so I kind of feel like she might be worried that he's in and out of her life and I'm not sure she wants that so it's going to have to be a very big juggling act when it comes to adapting with this type of life that he leads um, because he is such a big star let's see what kind of signs come up we have Gemini we have Sagittarius, we have Pisces, and we have Capricorn. So those might be some of the signs that maybe the spouse has, or G-Dragon has, or the combination of the two. So, but in any case, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing, and we will see you all next time. Stay blessed. Later.